Oh, do I hope this is in focus. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome back to my channel on this wonderful Thursday. First and foremost, I want to apologize for not having a video last week. I was very sick, I was dealing with a lot of stuff going on around and I just didn't get around to filming and uploading and I'm really, really sorry about that. But today I have a pretty cool video coming for you. If you guys like my favorites videos, you're gonna love this. This is my all-time 2015 favorites. Basically what I've done is combined everything that I've loved in 2015 and just into one little video type thing so I can show you guys what I've been loving this past year. So with that, let's get started. The first thing I've been loving this year is are these jeans. These jeans are Denizen from Levi's. They're 216 skinny fit jeans. They're the only pants I own. I have like three pairs of them and I love them so much. They're super nice. The nice thing about them is that it's hard to find skinny jeans for bigger guys and I'm a bigger guy, but these jeans do a really good job. They they fit really nicely and they're just nice. Obviously they don't come in my height because I'm short as all get out, but that's okay because I like to roll them up and cuff them and it ends up working really well with the jeans and everything because I, it just looks cute so these are definitely on my favorites the next thing on my favorites I cannot bring into my room with me but that is my Keurig coffee maker my Keurig has done wonders for me this year because I drink a lot of coffee but sometimes I don't know how to judge how much or how little I'm going to need or want so having the Keurig is really nice because it's one cup at a time and I you just, just so many different options and it's lovely also having to do with coffee one thing I've been loving is this reusable Starbucks coffee mug I don't know what about it I really love. It's just cliche and nice and fun. And it's just a cool thing that I have now. <laughs> Another thing that I have been loving are my snapback hats. They are great. They are lovely. And it's just one of those really fun things where if I don't want to do my hair, I don't have to. And I can just sweep it back and put it in a snapback and that's pretty awesome. <laughs> As you guys probably already know, I love candles. Candles are some of my favorite things on the planet and they help me relax at night when I light them. They bring off a great smell and just help me calm down after a long day, which is something I really love about them. Now, these have been in my favorites videos for months and months and months and that is LaCroix, this sparkling water. It gives me life. It is great, especially because I don't drink pop. When I stopped drinking pop, I was looking for kind of an alternative to pop, and then I found these, and it's great because they come in a can that's the same size as a pop can. So you kind of get the, like that feel and aura of drinking pop, but it's just water. It's flavored carbonated water, and you're not getting any bad chemicals or anything like that into your body and you're staying hydrated which is great. One thing that I cannot bring over here like the Keurig is my iMac. My iMac has served me so well from the time that I've had it and I did not go out and buy it. It was my family's iMac. My dad was like we don't use it anymore and we know that you need it for YouTube stuff and so he let me have it which is great because it's like 10 years old but it still runs even though it's kind of slow and it's been absolutely wonderful. The iMac has been probably one of the best things I've ever gotten from anybody. It's a lot easier to edit on an iMac because you have a bigger screen and it's just been all around amazing. I don't think I could go through a yearly favorites video without showing you guys this. This is the Panasonic Lumix and this is the camera that I was filming on before I got this Canon and this is the camera that I've been using and it's great. It's a great little camera. I mean it takes amazing pictures and the video quality and audio quality is not bad at all really and it's just a really really nice little camera and I owe it a lot because it's what started my YouTube career. This little thing has saved my life. It is an external battery portable charger thing. You charge it with a micro USB but then you can plug a regular USB in it and charge your phone and it's great and it's good for a little over one charge, one full charge. So if your phone is dead it can charge it to a hundred, at least for like an iPhone and it's wonderful and it's probably one of the best things I've ever bought and I got it for five dollars at five below so there's no excuse to not go get yourself one of these. <laughs> Again for things that I cannot bring over here because they are in use or too big is my tripod. I'm using my tripod right now. It is a Next Tech tripod and I don't know much about it. It was my dad's but he gave it to me to use for this kind of thing and it's absolutely wonderful. Like it holds up well, it's sturdy, it's really good for traveling, it collapses. Not much more I can say. 
I don't know much more. It's just wonderful. I have been going a lot of places this year, whether it be like traveling a long distances or just like going out and doing things that are 10 minutes away. But with that, I need bags and things to carry, everything that I've got. So I have two bags that I've really been loving this year. The first bag I've really been loving is the Dan and Phil Shop Pixel Backpack. The thing that I love about this is that it's still kind of small, so it's probably not good for like school stuff if you've got a lot of books. It's small, but it's really durable and it like holds up and it holds up being like beaten around even though you shouldn't necessarily do that but then it's got like pockets on the inside and it's got a laptop sleeve on the inside which is always great for traveling and then if I don't need to take a bag that big I've got this rucksack drawstring thing from 31 it's got my initials on it my mom got it for me for Christmas a couple years ago and it hasn't broken which is a surprise because usually these things break on me really really quickly but no it's here and it's great and I absolutely love it as far as social media goes this year there have been three things that I have been loving the first one is tumblr I've used tumblr for so long it's just such a fun app and there's so many things to do on it and I can't really express what my favorite thing is about tumblr it's just Tumblr as a whole because you've got good communities there you find people with similar interests you've got fandom stuff and you can go and look and find all this and then if you type in like spoiler free after it, you can find that so if you don't have spoilers yet and it's just all around a really good website another recently discovered one fairly recent is snapchat I've absolutely loved snapchat since I've had it for a long time I couldn't get it for various reasons but now that I have it I don't think I'd ever want to go back to not having it it's a a really fun way to connect with people and I just enjoy watching everybody's stories and all like that and I'm probably gonna use it instead of daily vlogging so if y'all want to catch me on social media it's all at the Riley Kyle so even my snapchat is the Riley Kyle so you should go check that out the last social media that I have been absolutely loving social network social media did I say that right is Twitter Twitter has been such a big thing for me especially at the later part of 2015 and I've just been able to connect with so many people and do so many things and reach out to people who watch my videos and people who don't and it's just a really great way to connect and interact with people with a short character count not to mention I've gotten several youtuber notices on my my uh, side Twitter account which is at Daddy J Pierce this year so that's cool too music is another thing that I've been absolutely loving this year music make gets me going music is just the thing that powers the world the thing that powers my world there's been a lot of music that I've listened to this year but here's some of my favorites as far as groups go Attaboy is definitely one of my favorite groups I don't have their newest CD on physical I don't know if they sell it physically but it's available online on their website for free if you can't afford to pay which is awesome and the entire album is absolutely phenomenal it's called vitals Attaboy has been a group that I've listened to for a very long time all of their albums are so great I've met them I've talked to them and they are absolutely wonderful every time I've seen them they've signed my CDs they've just been absolutely great to the people who enjoy their music and everybody in general and then we could not have a favorites video and include music without including blue neighborhood by Troy Sivan now here's the thing with blue neighborhood is that I have like purchased the digital album like three times and then I went to Target and I saw this because I knew there's a Target exclusive. I had to buy it because there's two extra songs on it and like physical CD form type things. So I, I bought it and it was worth it because I've been listening to it in the car instead of plugging in a cord, which is great. And it's just one of the best albums I've ever heard, to be honest. And everything about Troy's music just gets me going like the style of music is something that I really enjoyed like I didn't think I could classify the style that was my favorite until this album came out because I don't know what genre it's in but I absolutely love it and continuing with music one of my favorite things has been my record player I can't bring that over again but it's still been one of the best things in my life this year it is an old Winnie the Pooh record player but it still works and does what it's supposed to do and I love listening to the collection of vinyl that I have on the record player and I'm really looking forward to getting it in the mail because I ordered the LP of Blue Neighborhood so that's gonna sound super good on the player I'm the type of person who likes to write their thoughts down and have have them on paper where I can see them and where I can read them so this year one of my favorite things has been the Shinola Detroit notebook it has been absolutely wonderful it's a hard linen 
so it holds up really really well the pages are plain it's a medium size you can get a ton of different kinds from Shinola and they will like engrave or stamp a name or word or whatever you want on the cover of it with the purchase of the notebook which is super neat and as far as an app goes it's not technically a social media GIF Keyboard! They are some of my favorite people. GIF Keyboard by Rifsy is one of my favorite apps that I've ever used. It's super cool, it's super great. GIF Keyboard is one of those things where like you download it and you install it and you use it the first time and you're like, I can't live without it. Basically what it is, it's a GIF Keyboard. You download it to your phone, you install it, give it access and all that kind of stuff, and then you can use it like an emoji keyboard right there in your phone and use it on basically any app, which is the cool thing and instead of sending a reaction emoji you can send a gif and it's really cool and the last thing on my 2015 favorites list is youtuber books I have a couple here with me right now I have binge by Tyler Oakley which I actually have three copies of at the moment which is a little in insane I have I hate my selfie by Shane Dawson which the book itself was absolutely phenomenal and it's one that I probably will reread I have Tabin off or the amazing book is not on fire which is actually a signed copy that I found when I went to the Alchemist signing for Tyler's book and last but not least it's probably one of my favorites out of the youtuber books is a work in progress by Connor Franta the book itself is just very inspiring to read and I've read it I think three times and I've listened to it on audible like twice and it's just a very inspiring book and something that I absolutely love to read and go back to and that's it you made it throughout my entire favorites for this year you did it you sat with me good I'm applauding you cuz I wouldn't <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed all of my favorites and things like that all the links will be down below so if you want to get any of these things that I talked about you can make sure if you like this video to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what some of your favorite things from 2015 were and if you want you can subscribe to my channel because I post two videos a week normally except for last week because I was a slacker on Tuesdays I post a trans education video which is more like LGBT related and then on Thursdays it's just videos like this and also you can be sure to follow me on all my social media which is at the Riley Kyle all of my social media links are also in the description and if you're interested I'm on a collab channel called quite the collab the link to that will also be below and I'm on there with six other amazing people and we upload a brand new video every day with a brand new topic every week so with that we're done here. I love you guys, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye!